Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech and today we are with Gordon Carpenter, uh, DeLorean owner. He's going to talk to us about his DeLorean and what he's done to it. Hi, so I fell in love with this car about 1985 before the movie came out and um, then managed to convince the wife that this is something I had to have uh, shortly after uh, the movie did come out. At any rate, um, I like making it current, I like making my car uh, new and different, and so uh, I have several little modifications which I'll point out to you. One of which I like a lot is uh, a license plate holder here made by Skip Vaughn. Uh, down along here, uh, I have put in a new stereo. It's a, Alpine stereo that has a nine inch display and uh, behind that stereo where the AC would normally be is the actual radio head itself. This um, stereo uh, has a GPS connection with your cell phone and um, autoplay, uh, Apple Play, all those current modern things. Really, really like this installation. Directly below that is uh, the controls for my new air conditioner. These are uh, Dakota Digital controls and it controls my replacement air conditioning system made by Vintage Air. I now have a Gen 4 air conditioning system put in there. The red LEDs are uh, kind of a package that has um, grown from my desire to have lights in the engine bay. I had a few leftover lights around the whole thing so I put them inside the interior as well. They're RGB so they can be changed to any color at any time or they can be rotating. Uh, the stereo also has a subwoofer here and an amp in the back wall. Uh, if you come around to the engine bay, I've done quite a bit of work here. This is a uh, stage two engine. Uh, really like the horsepower from a stage two engine. It, it's somewhere around 190 to 195 horsepower. So that's really nice. Um, I've got, uh, oh, during 2017 I did a frame off restoration. At that point in time, I chrome plated five parts of the air conditioning, or the, of the engine. Uh, recently the air conditioning went, so I put in a new uh, compressor here. Uh, here's another Skip Vaughn creation. Covers up the, uh, all the electrical components that are normally on the back wall of the engine. Um, and here I have the uh, nice decor plates from Toby Peterson. Um, most of this work in the frame off restoration, I should say all of the work from the frame off restoration was done by uh, Danny Botkin at uh, the Huntington Beach DMC. Uh, what else is going on here? Oh, something I just added to my car at today's San Diego Tech Day is my new backup camera. This is a brand new bracket that I designed and uh, it um, has a license plate light in it and holds the backup camera so that um, the new stereo head can um, pick up the video from this camera and uh, I'll be able to see where I'm backing up to as of today. This is a part that I designed and then had 3D printed and if you're interested in uh, having a similar bracket or the same bracket um, please contact me. Pretty sick, huh? All right, Gordon. Hey, thanks a lot for showing us uh, all the mods you've done. Uh, anything planned for the oh, future? Um, more lights, 
but I forgot one feature that I really like. This was also designed by uh, Danny Bodkin at uh, DeLorean. That's my glove box in the center. Wow, look at that. Nice. That is so sweet, having the glove box. It is convenient and functional. It's very nice. Nice hinge there, too. Yeah, that's totally cool. I didn't even notice that, actually. <laughs> and it goes all the right. way back. Right, right. Yeah, it's, you know, it doesn't stand it is, out. It is so convenient and yet... Subtle. Subtle. Yes. It is so convenient and subtle. Um, here's the cable to the new stereo that gives you uh, Apple Play, iPlay. I just lay it right in here and then set the phone to the right of the gear shift. And here's my favorite upgrade of all. This is the DMC Power Steering Assist. It makes driving your DeLorean a breeze at low speed. Whether you're trying to park in a narrow parking spot, do a three-point turn, a U-turn, anything at low speed becomes incredibly easy. Check out my video on this at DeLoreanDirector.com where I demonstrate driving my car with one finger only. Best upgrade anybody can add to their DeLorean. Oh, and then I have something else that's custom. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> my uh, my floor mats have the uh, have the uh, license plate. That's cool. Stitched into them. That's a good idea. Yeah, those are Lloyd floor mats with uh, whatever you want to say, right stitched into the floor mat. In my case, I thought the license plate was appropriate. I'm thinking that I. I'm going to um, do one other big upgrade to the car, and that will be, I'm going to take my stock rims and get them machined to have the machine faced to all of the uh, fins on the wheel. Great idea. Yeah, that would be really I, nice. I've, I've drooled over that for quite <laughs> some time, and it's coming up uh, in the next year. Oh, okay. Who are you going to have to do the work? I haven't figured work? that out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you got to plan on doing with the car? Uh, don't have any money in mind. <laughs> Something will come to mind. Just give it yeah. some time, right? Right. Something may come up. Run <laughs> out, man.